I'm Lady Aska and today I want to talk about how to add effects to your face texture in Unity so you can trigger these in VC Face later. First, we have to create the different face textures. You will likely have one neutral texture, which is either a custom texture like I am having here already or the standard B-Roy texture. In my case, I have to first merge these layers together, so I have one layer only. This will be my neutral layer. Then I copy this layer three more times and spread it evenly over a sheet that is double the size from the original canvas. I am using Paint Tool Sci for this example, but you should be able to do this in any kind of picture editing software. If you want a tutorial on how to do it in another software like GIMP for example, let me know in the comments. For this tutorial, I will create my effects in Paint Tool Sci, but you can also create simple effects like the blush in Vroid Studio directly and then exporting this texture and copy those together in the end. It's all up to you. I decided to go for a blush, a shocked shadow over the face and tears to add to my sorrow expression. After you've finished your textures and are happy with the results, it's time to save your canvas as a .png and take it to Unity. For this part I made myself a bit smaller, so I won't cover up anything important. As in the last video where I introduced HANA tool, you will create a new 3D project and then import the UniVRM plugin. This here is just a quick showcase, but I explained it in more detail in the other video, as well as how to install Unity. Though, as always, all links will be in the description too. When the import is finished, we drag our .vrm avatar into the bottom assets and are now focusing a bit more on the menu to the left. Here you will see all the available assets and we will select textures where we find our standard face texture of our avatar. The goal is now to replace this texture with our new created texture pack. We go to show in explorer and replace the old face texture with our new one. Make sure to name them the same. And now we drag our avatar from the main asset directory into the sample scene and select the material menu. Your avatar may look a bit weird at the moment, since our new face texture has to be lined up first. Select the material for the face and if you're not sure which one it is, you can always click on the different textures to check on the right in the inspector if you got the right one. It should be named N00 and a few zeros more, underscore face, underscore zero zero, underscore skin. And you know you got the right one. Now that we're already in the inspector, we scroll down here till we reach the UV coordinates. Here we will be able to tell the program which coordinates to use as default or as your neutral expression in this case. It may require a bit of experimenting, but you should get a similar result as me here. You can test all the coordinates for the different effects here and write them down so you won't have to experiment in the second step anymore once we set the blend shapes for our new effect. To do so, we now switch to blend shapes and you select the one that is just called blend shape. You will see a few familiar buttons pop up in the inspector once you found the right one. These are all blend shapes that can be triggered in VC Face or that we usually edit in Vroid Studio. So first, I want to create a new blend shape now for my blush effect. I click on create blend shape clip and name it for example blendshape.blush.asset. Confirm with save and now we only have to select our face underscore zero zero underscore skin again in the material list and select main text under it, which is the main face texture. Now you see the coordinates again and if you are smart, you noted them down and can now fill them in for your desired expression. Just as a little heads up, the expressions will now only show up in the little preview window on the bottom. While it was easy to see when I hit the blush expression, when it came to the tears that I had put on one of my expressions, it was really hard to see if I got the right one in the beginning. And I had to redo the whole process a few times to get it right. Now we will also add the shocked shadow to the shocked expression and the tears to the sorrow expression, which will work the same way as we just did it, with the difference that you will select the expression from the top buttons already and then you can export your .vrm the same as we did last time. Go to vrm0 in the menu bar and select export.vrm. Make sure you select your avatar file if it doesn't show up directly and then select en for English as your language and set a version like v4 if you haven't already through vroid studio. 
Also, always save the .vrm files you create in Unity under a new name, so you don't lose the base.vrm. Now it's time to load this new avatar into VC Face to check if we got it right. We go to the expression settings and find our new blush expression. First, we set a hotkey for it, and second, we set the transition time to zero. Otherwise, you will see the program scrolling through our face texture. The blush expression can now be combined with our other expressions too, like joy or happy for example. And now the expressions that I already combined with existing expressions. I put the shadow over my face for the shocked expression and the teary eyes for the sour expression, which when triggered alone work fine. Just be aware if you try to trigger them all together. Better to reset back to neutral in between. And don't forget to always set the transition time for your new made expressions to zero here. Otherwise, it will look really weird and funny. Hope you will have a blast creating new face textures. Next Sunday, we will look into adding effects like hearts or stars to enhance your expressions further. As always, if you enjoy the content or have questions, share them in the comments or join the Discord, where we try to fix problems in real time. Hope you have a wonderful day.